Why the fuck are they sending it down the street? Like, here's the clip. Um, it's a not a serious video, but it's a awareness video. Um, anyway, um, so you guys can hear me better. Oh, whatever, correct all of that. Um, all that good shit. Um, serious video. What happened in um, Stevenage regarding? Um, oh, you got two tickets in Stevenage regarding. Uh, not fatal crash, but it was a, a little cheeky crash that happened um, between boy racers, as the um, the radio is describing it. Now, I don't really agree with what they were saying on Radio Two. If you guys haven't heard, um, it was pretty unfair. They was labelling us as you know young thugs or unprivileged um, youths that can't get jobs and such and such and for me now I have a job I wouldn't say I'm I'm sort of privileged because you know I've got a nice car I've got a good job blah, blah, blah. my head was screwed on um one second My head was screwed on, so I managed to, you know, go down the right path. But um, obviously, if you don't know, I'm gonna play the clip on the video here, uh, just to so you guys know what I'm going in it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna let it play. Why are you coming first? Why are you coming first? Alright, cool. So you just watched the video. Um, that happened. Obviously, when you go to meet, right? Please be safe. Like, if you're gonna do any racing or anything like that, take it to the track. Don't leave it to the street. You go to meet. Obviously, the meet was meant to be a static meet, but obviously, you got out of control. You got certain people that um, will come to meet, fixated on doing drifts and whatever but one thing like you gotta understand all oh, cheeky st one thing you gotta understand is like that's what makes car meets car meets you know all the wild shit happening like obviously stuff can go wrong and does go wrong but that's ultimately up to the driver it's nobody else's fault it's just the driver obviously they got a big ego they want to please everybody there but like it's up to the it's up to the driver isn't it so I'm um, sorry for the cabin noise, but um, I'm, I'm working on getting a, a new camera. The whole car community shouldn't get bashed down for what someone did because they're labeling the whole flipping incident as it was Cruz Hurt's fault. And that's complete bullshit, bruv. That's bullshit. They literally label it static me only, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, a couple feds turn up but it's just to keep the meat under control so stuff like this didn't happen and on the news they're saying right oh the feds had no idea that the meat was happening but two two you can see a fed right before the incident fucking sending it down the street like what the fuck why the fuck are they sending it down the street like here's the clip Overall, it's not really good to just be putting us all in one pot. Obviously, the only reason why we mod our cars is because 
we like we, we are all car enthusiasts not all of us has the money to go buy an m4 or an m2 or anything like that that's already modified from factory but they don't look down on those m4 crashes m m2 crashes flipping mustangs swinging into the crowd and all of that they don't look at that they're highly modified cars coming out of the factory three four hundred even five hundred brake horsepower bruv and most young people that buy it can't control it okay obviously young drivers get penalized and get put in a category because they have the most crashes or whatever but also just the amount of hate and bash what the car community is getting it's not fair because if you look at all the older statistics like most older people tend to have more crashes like look at look at becky down the street with her fucking um fucking ford b max or c max fam obviously it's not a real person but it's just an example like boom she's crashing she's a nervous driver duh, 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 but they don't get penalized why because she's older obviously young people are more uh hit behind the wheel uh, yeah but it's not every young person so they shouldn't all get put in the same category that's the point what i'm trying to make they shouldn't be putting everybody in the same category because the people everybody that mod their cars are sensible in to a certain extent because most people ain't got common sense common sense they're coming bro but um completely lost my point completely lost my point fucking no mate fucking i have a bubble but um i'm not gonna make it too long i'm not gonna have like a little cheeky rant but um but yeah obviously what they did it wasn't what the drivers did it wasn't really smart i'm not gonna say what they did obviously you could see, tell by that video or whatever but um yeah cruise has been doing it for like years and years and years and the people that got hit by the crowd they know the risk and they they chose to stand there like even when you go to certain meets people run into the middle of the fucking meet i mean in the middle of the square just to get the good recordings i ain't gonna lie i do that sometimes i know full well that i'm about to get hit even when i'm running across the flipping court trying to jump into the middle cars are drifting towards me bruv and i have to jump out the way or stuff because i know i know that so all the hate shouldn't be going to just the car people the people driving the cars it should be going towards the crowd as well because obviously the crowd knows that it's dangerous right come on it's not it's not a walkway you're standing on it's that you're standing on like a little field that's not even for flipping pedestrians and shit like it's, it's just common sense like people are not looking at these factors like the factors what i'm talking about is the crowd being there um the young driver's ego it's a normal thing even the flipping radio presenter was like oh when he was 17 in his mini cooper s well actually it wasn't a crowd it was my um my manager that i was talking about the situation he was like when he was 17 in his mini cooper s um he he modified the hell out of it always wanted to go fast never had an accident yeah some people are lucky like that like come on anyway i'm fucking rambling that's the end of the video um please like <laughs>